Could it happen to you? A pain so chronic that it hurts to lift and even feed your baby? Take a look at mom Karen and baby Jake. Hi doctors, my name is Karen and this is my son Jake. Jake is three months old and already weighs 17 pounds. About a month after he was born, I started feeling severe wrist pain. It has gotten so bad I have trouble breastfeeding and sometimes picking him up. Sometimes the pain is so bad I worry about dropping him. I've tried cortisone shots and wearing a brace at night and they haven't offered much improvement. What can I do to get rid of the pain? Karen joins us with her husband, Darren, and baby Jake. And here to help answer her question is orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. John T. Knight. Welcome to all of you. So, Dr. Knight, what's going on here? Well, she has a condition for years. It's been called Dequervain's tendonitis, now occurring in up to one half of all mothers. And this is a pretty disabling condition. It involves the thumb extensors that pull the thumb away from the hand. And it's in a tight tunnel here where these tendons go. And as a, as a result of frequent lifting of the baby 30 to 40 times a day, cupping the baby's uh, head during breastfeeding, in addition to other conditions such as frequent use of texting in the working mom, uh, having babies later in life, which less reparative uh, to inflammation, uh, as well as, you know, many other things. But these are the main culprits, and it's the lifting with this L-shaped position of the baby under the armpit. And so I think it's important to start with the first treatment. She has her hands like this, and the only way you can really get around that is to cup the baby. It's awkward, but that is really the only relief as far as how you, you know, modify the picking up. So Karen, up. are you willing so, to, to try that? How, how would a mom do that? You want to keep the thumbs in, and you want to put the under the baby's buttock, one hand, and then, and then again, keeping the, the thumbs in like this. So you can't, you have to, you know, totally, you know, uh, modify the way you're lifting the baby. You want to try that, Karen? Because I see your yeah. tendency, I was watching you yeah. during the yeah. tape. Yeah, your tendency is to get that yeah. thumb way out. Yeah, even, yeah. yeah. And so even, is, there you go. And this yeah. is different from carpal tunnel, which a lot of women will get in their last trimester of pregnancy. That's correct. But, so, but this doesn't really become symptomatic until the baby you know, is getting a little heavier and they start picking up. And it can go from six months up to two years because you're still having to, to pick the baby up. So the first thing is rest, ice, obviously modifying the activity, anti-inflammatory medication. And then if that doesn't do it, then like in Karen's situation, we try a cortisone shot. You can do a, several of those if they're getting relief. And in 10% of Bless cases... You, Jay. Yes. Bless you, Jay. And He agrees. In about 10% of cases, uh, surgery may be necessary, and that's where we may be heading with her, which is a 95% successful rate, little 10-minute outpatient, one-centimeter incision procedure. So, so take-home here is prevention, prevention, prevention as much as possible. Well, you have one beautiful baby, Jake. Thank there, you Karen. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both for being with us tonight. Thanks for helping explain that condition.